In Joshua chapter 4, we read of the nation of Israel standing on the banks of the Jordan, having to go through the waters to enter the promised land. Though not specifically stated, there is a clear connection to the necessity of baptism to enter Christ. Today's Throwback Thursday is from Plain Talk Magazine, March 1977. If Baptism is Optional by Dan Shipley That water baptism is a part of New Testament teaching cannot be denied. Christ taught it, the apostles and other inspired men taught it, and sinners submitted to it. However, many, including those who practice it, minimize the importance of baptism in claiming it not essential to one's salvation. To them, it is an optional thing to be received or rejected without eternal consequences one way or the other. If they are right, then certain other things must necessarily follow. If baptism is optional, then observing the teaching of Christ is optional because he teaches that he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, Mark 16, 16. If one could be saved without doing what Jesus says about baptism, then what of the faith required in the same verse? Remember, God says, Hear ye him, Matthew 17, 5, and to him shall ye hearken in all things, Acts 3:22. However, if observing and abiding in the teaching of Christ, 2 John 9, cannot be optional, then neither can the baptism contained in his teaching. Further, Jesus plainly tells the apostles to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them into the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I commanded you, Matthew 28, verses 19 and 20. His instructions include teaching and baptism which is optional. Also note that the apostles were to teach men to observe what Christ commanded. The apostles taught baptism, therefore it is among those things commanded by Christ. Look at Acts 2, 38, 10, 48, Romans 6, 3 and following, 1 Peter 3, 21, Galatians 3, 27. If baptism is optional, then keeping the commandments of Christ is optional. Recall in John 14, 15, Jesus says, If you love me, Ye will keep my commandments. Is it possible to show love for Christ while regarding his commandments as optional and not keeping his word? Verse 23. Again, if baptism is optional, then obeying truth is optional. Jesus promised the apostles that the Holy Spirit would guide them into all the truth. John 16, verse 13. What the apostles and other inspired men set forth concerning baptism was a part of that gospel truth. Among other things, this truth teaches that men put on Christ in baptism, Galatians 3.27. And that newness of life begins at baptism, John 3, verses 3 through 5, Romans 6, verse 4. That's the gospel truth. Can men please God without newness of life and without putting on Christ? Are these optional matters? To reject this truth is to reject the God who gives it, 1 Thessalonians 4.8. And Paul depicts the fate of all who do not obey it, 2 Thessalonians 1, 8 and 9. Finally, if it makes no difference whether one is baptized, then it makes no difference whether one receives forgiveness of sins. Through Peter, God shows that remission of sins follows repentance and baptism, Acts 2, verse 38. Acts 22, 16 teaches that sins are washed away in baptism. Christ himself shows that being saved, that is forgiven, comes after faith expresses itself in baptism. Mark 16, verse 16. This is why God says that baptism saves us. 1 Peter 3, 21. Nothing necessary to the salvation of man can be optional. God, in many ways, says baptism is needful. Will you receive it? Well, thank you, Dan. Since God put water between physical Israel and the earthly promised land, Should it surprise us that he put water between spiritual Israel and the spiritual promised land? Oh, how sad that so many stand on the banks of baptism and refuse to enter the water. You can't get to Christ by any other path. So please accept God's invitation and come on in. And please come back tomorrow for another Morning Minutes in the Bible. Until then, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.